to the temple. Hello everyone, welcome to the video. It's going to be a tutorial on three things. Armor status, direction HUD, and status effect HUD. So, it kind of gives you a better, more accurate experience, and it looks cool. So, first thing we're going to do, we're going to do the mod, and then we're going to show you how it works. Okay, so you guys are going to go to this website that I'm going to put in the description. You're going to scroll down. Here it is. These three mods rely heavily upon a file that you need to download first, and it's a core file. See? B S B K R S core. Okay, so you download that. This works for 1.8 on mod or legit. So I click that link, and now I'm going to wait for this curse page to load. It's down here. If you have Chrome, Chrome will try to block it. Just keep it. Uh, it's a jar file, so supposedly JavaScript is really dangerous and can be like computers and stuff like that. If you're afraid of getting your computer infected, just watch a different video. Okay, so I downloaded the core. Now I'm gonna scroll down. I'm gonna open up uh, this guy right here. And then I'm gonna scroll down and it says latest, right? And this is mirror, it says all releases mirror. So I'm gonna click download for 1.8. It's gonna pull up another screen. Of course, this is how they make their money. Support those guys by downloading their stuff and using their links. Keep. Chrome's gonna do the same thing and try to block that one. Okay. Then you're gonna scroll down a little bit further, get your direction HUD, same thing, direction HUD, orange button, download for 1.8, loads the curse page. There it is, keep, close that window, scroll a little further down, status, scroll up, there you go, download for 1.8, curse. You know what's funny, I actually got denied a partnership with curse, so, yeah closed all those boom so if you're like me all those and your chrome they all went to your downloads folder so drag this over downloads here they are you're gonna have four files right in your guys's case you're gonna grab these four files you're gonna copy them you're gonna put them on your desktop because it's just better for your brain <laughs> okay now after this you need to install forge unless you already have forge I'll show you how to get Forge. So, Forge. Go to Google, files.minecraft.forge.net. Open that. Look for 1.8. I'm just going to do this one. And then I'm going to go to downloaded uh, installer here. It's going to download the installer. It's going to take you to this ad page here. skip now here it is down here in the corner keep that file as well click on it it's gonna pop up a little window install client click OK it does all this successfully installed that's how easy installing forge is now if you install forge properly and you go to minecraft you're gonna have a mods folder see so for your guys sake this is percent app data percent okay dot minecraft mods right here so now you have the mods folder open and you have your four jar files on the desktop grab all those right click copy and you're gonna paste them in here I'm not gonna over paste or paste on top because I already have all four files here and they're the exact same files so we're gonna close that and we're gonna cross our fingers and we're gonna open this crack launcher now make sure down here in version you're down here at 1.8 Forge, okay. If you're on 1.8 regular up here, it's not gonna play your mods, okay. So to change this, edit profile, then you change this version right here. I don't need to because I already did it. You guys could even do new profile, anyways, or just change it every time you come in here. So you did that. Now you're gonna press play. It's gonna load on the bottom. You're gonna wait a second because Minecraft is always slow. Here's this window. So if you've never seen this pop up before and now you see it, you're probably like, cool. In my case, I've seen it a million times. Not that cool. Okay. Now our full screen here. 
Hmm. Okay. What you're going to do is click single player and you're going to create a world or whatever. But if you really want to check, you can look down here in the left corner, seven mods loaded, seven mods active. Click the mods folder, scroll down. Look at that. There's your core. There's your stats. There's your HUDs. Boom. Single player. Select this new world or old world or whatever you want. Right off the bat, you guys can notice some changes. Top of the screen here shows north, south, east, west. Watch. All right. That's freaking awesome. And if you look down here in the corner of the, you know, screen, you got all these things that you never had before. Helmet, shield, all that. So, if you're looking, you want to go in there just for fun, you can take these out and see it without. See? <laughs> you're just nothing, buddy. Put that in there. That's what you got. Now you can also do something else that's really cool. You can locate your, uh, you know, uh, enchantments or um, specials or potions, whatever you guys call them. Whatever the hip word is. So you locate them. Hmm. I don't know if it works on books. I've never tested it, but it possibly does. Anyways, so here's this. We're just grabbing random stuff. And then we're going to look at that. We got strength here, right? And we got potion of regen. Bam. Now we can see all this stuff on the right hand side of the screen, like indications of what's going on. So that's pretty cool. And of course, when you take damage, your points drop in the left hand corner. You guys want to see it? Let's see it. What shall we do? We shall do something fun. Get this video over with a bang. Here we go. Get the party jumping. Okay. Anyway, I didn't turn on the, the pain. So, oh well. But anyways, if you guys like this video and you want to install this mod, now you know how to do it. Copy the four folders. Install Forge. Drop them in the mods folder. Open up the game. You're in. If this helped you, you guys give me a thumbs up. If you have any more questions, just ask and I will answer them. Thank you for watching.